Welcome to the celebrity hotspot of Park City, Utah. This town is famous for its incredible skiing and for hosting Sundance, the world's largest independent film festival. I'm your host, Rachel Bernstein. Come along with me as we ski, snowboard, and explore all this city has to offer. This is Bikini Destination Park City. Park City is located in the Wasatch Range of Northern Utah and served as the home for the Alpine venues for the 2002 Winter Olympic Games. Main Street in downtown is a shopper's paradise, loaded with unique boutiques, fine retailers, and high-end ski shops. The mountains above town are home to three world-class ski resorts offering riders and skiers of all abilities a chance to let it rip on the greatest snow on earth. The Bikini Destination's cast and crew would stay in the luxurious slopeside mountain home located high on the mountain above the Canyon Ski Resort. Here the crew would use an innovative new approach to bikini modeling in a spectacular alpine surroundings. Our first model up, all the way from Atlanta, Georgia, the beautiful Laura Crosby. I'm rolling, here we go. Keep looking up the hill and look at me. Hi, I'm Laura Crosby and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? A few words to describe myself would be outgoing, loud, effervescent. I love to be the life of the party. I love to have a good time. Can you hear me? Can you I love meeting new people and I love to just experience life. I live life to the fullest for sure. This is my first time shooting in the snow and I thought it would be much harder than it is. We kind of, everybody's so professional and quick, we knock it out and we run back inside and cuddle up in front of the fire. Well, since we're in Park City, we thought it would go with more of a Western theme. So we got, you know, we got cowboy boots and, and you know, coach with fringes on them and, and hats and like hats and, and uh, you know, furs and things to keep them warm also. I mean, it's challenging, I'm not even gonna lie, because we're in these teeny tiny bikinis and we are freezing our little bodies off. But, I mean, we have gotten some beautiful pictures. Now is the time. Park City is beautiful. It's an amazing town. It's like a small town, but it's still, there's still so much to do. It's such a touristy spot, but you still get that hometown type of vibe. The same physical and mental faculties, the same problems and the same needs. Me and Nicole got to actually shoot in front of this really old, rustic looking whiskey distillery. And it was so fun. We wore these long coats, of course, over our teeny tiny bikinis and we walked around and everybody in town was staring. It was, it was like a movie set. It was so much fun, we had a blast. Something to offer should come forward. Now is the time. While I was outside modeling on the side of the house, you know, we're pretty much right on the ski path. Some guys were skiing right by and they were yelling, oh, look at her and her, her bathing costume. It was hilarious. We were all dying. It was so funny. Now is the time. As difficult as it has been to shoot in this freezing cold weather, I'm sure it's worth it because we've gotten some beautiful shots. Now is the time. Now is the time.
One of the biggest annual attractions in Park City is the Sundance Film Festival. It has become the premier showcase for the U.S. and international independent films. This week-long event is held each January and draws thousands of movie fans, famous actors, and Hollywood elite. The Bikini Destination's crew is on hand to be seen and represent at this trendy affair. The girls were looking their best at the big night out where A-list guests chilled at the coolest party in town. And needless to say, they took full advantage of the opportunity to cut loose. So there's been tons of parties, you know, since it's Sundance, there's obviously tons of stuff going on, but we seem to love the House of Blues. We've gone there two nights in a row now. One, the only. The first night we got to see the Pussycat Dolls burlesque, and they were amazing. We actually snuck up front to the to the stage. We had a blast and danced. We saw Carmen Electra up close and personal. Um, been a fan of her for a very long time. Total bikini model, so it was a lot of fun. So our second night out here, we went to an exclusive party at House of Blues, uh, Third Eye Blind, total California bands. Live bands are always a great time, so us girls were up in the front row, fist pumping, having a good time. My best friend Rachel's on the show as well, so we just had an unbelievable time together. The host kept coming to the table with trays and trays of drinks for all of us girls and shots. Uh, there were so many shots that we were outnumbered and we just had such a good time. We were dancing on the tables and laughing and giggling. We had so much fun. The owner of the club was bringing us all kinds of drinks and shots. We were all dancing and laughing. We had a ball. Our next model up comes all the way from South Carolina. Here is Jennifer Corliss. Hi, I'm Jennifer Corliss. I'm from Columbia, South Carolina. Our first shoot of the day was um, right outside and it was very, very early and very cold. I got this so we could put on the snow in line. Ooh, it's soft. We were shooting right behind the house and there, there were big, beautiful trees and snow everywhere. There was a fresh snow the night before. As soon as I went out, it was freezing. I thought I was not gonna be able to last very long. Oh, oh that's so much better. <sighs> I was able to stay out there and come into a nice warm fire. I stay in shape, first of all, because I have two small children, so I'm constantly running after them. Also, it's uh, very important to me to have a nice fitness regimen and to continue to work at my age. It's, it's very important that I keep up my fitness routine, and that includes just eating a healthy diet, and I work out four times a week. Pretty hard, but I don't overdo it, and I allow myself to eat what I want, and uh, that's what keeps me in shape. We drove pretty far out into the country, and uh, there was this gorgeous white barn. It was quite a challenge to get there because we had to park and walk quite a distance. Snow and cowboy boots don't, don't go together very well, so I was slipping and sliding all over the place. We got some really beautiful, spectacular images, like wide shots and just with this barn in the back, just pristine snow-capped trees and the barn was fully covered with snow and it was just gorgeous. You have a girl in the white jeans and white snow and mounts and fence posts. Pretty awesome. Shooting with Casey has always been just a blast. I've shot with him many, many times and uh, 
He keeps it very fun and lets you have a good time. It's not all work. We have a really great time. We go out and have great dinners and we're around friends and he has the best crew to work for and uh, he's very easygoing and he knows what looks good and we work really well together. My first day ever snowboarding, and it's pretty fun, I have to say. The snow in Utah is incredible. The locals advertise it as the greatest snow on earth. You got it, you got it. Snow on my face. <laughs> that was cool. <sighs> so we're staying in this amazing house. I mean, it's beautiful. And we are literally skiing uh, yeah. outside our back door. Ah! And the girls took full advantage of this opportunity to ski and snowboard literally right out of the back door. I was super excited to get to go skiing, a little nervous because I had not been in five years or more. I'm an intermediate skier. Uh, the first day I had a little bit of trouble. <laughs> I kind of was being a baby, but I changed my boots and my poles and the second day I felt amazing. The skiing was so good. We came to a couple of slopes and I looked down and I thought there was no way I'm going down that slope and the girls would just all, you know, together say, let's go, and we wound up making it down somehow, some way. I've been snowboarding since I was a little kid and um, I guess Park City has been one of those destinations I've always wanted to go to. A couple of the girls were skiing. I was the only snowboarder out there, so I was able to um, go off and be free and explore a lot on my own. It was such a privilege to come out here and actually experience this trip. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. We got to stop at this little lodge and we had burgers and hot dogs and it got so hot we were all sitting in these lawn chairs and people were sitting there with t-shirts on, the weather was so good. The past few days have been absolutely beautiful and when we got done skiing yesterday we just thought it would be a great idea to rip off our ski bibs and rip off our coats and ski in our bikini tops. Am I in? Wait, let me look at your lips. Just the breeze and being out there, snowboarding in your bikini, I never felt sexier. Everybody was skiing amazing. As soon as you have your bikini top on, you're not willing to fall, you just ski fantastic. You know, we just started rocking out and headed back to the house. It was so much fun and just a perfect way to end the day. Woo! This house is a ski in, ski out, so we had a private winding little road right up to our door and we did it, we rocked it, we had a blast. Woo! Yeah, that was fun. Best day ever. 
our next model from Southern California, the sporty Melissa Barone. Hi, I'm Melissa Barone and I'm from Los Angeles, California. Modeling in Park City was definitely a challenge. Um, not only is it cold, we shot in the trees. Um, sometimes we were knee deep and we had to carry our way out there. Uh, this show's different than a lot of other bikini destinations. Um, we're in bikinis in the snow, freezing, but it's so much fun and it feels good to be out in the nature and enjoy the weather. Something about it though just warmed us up and it was a very happy feeling to explore that. <laughs> My makeup artist is gonna be pissed. <laughs> Mel is an unbelievable athlete. I was watching her snowboard yesterday and it just was blowing me away. Melissa is just generous and kind and kind of a spitfire. She's the one that is, you know, the professional snowboarder. Mel is a little funny girl. She's so pretty and sweet and She's a great snowboarder. I'm always praying for her as she's flying down the hill at 40 miles an hour. We're privileged to stay at an incredible, unbelievable house. We went from playing in the game room, playing pool, in a big theater room. We had a huge grotto spa. is the coziest home that anybody could stay out. Uh, the ski in, ski out was probably the coolest thing about the house. To experience that for the first time was absolutely the coolest thing. So this is my first time out in Park City. Just a remarkable place. Small little mountain town that you don't think it had so much to offer than it does. There are so many restaurants, um, incredible places to walk around, go shopping, a ton of people that just come out here on vacation. It's such a cozy little place. Something you definitely want to come out here with your family and friends and enjoy. And the snowboarding is incredible. Um, it's a place that we will remember forever. Coming to you from Malibu, California, our blonde bombshell, Nicole Bennett. Okay, and action coming on you. Nice. Hi, my name is Nicole Bennett, and I'm from Malibu, California. That's beautiful. Let's just do this. Let's pan up your body. A lot of people call me funny and dorky. I'm super sarcastic. I'm winning. Um, really outgoing. Um, but I would like to think that people would think that I would always be there for them as well. Feel the heat around you up against your skin. Up against your skin. The snow's actually been really great. They put us in these awesome fur coats, so we're totally styled. And it was snowing earlier, now it's sunny, blue clouds. Super excited. We're staying in this amazing house. I think there's maybe eight bedrooms. Um, there's an elevator, it's so cool. 
and we shot different locations around the house and the woods with the snow in the background. Being in a bikini was a little chilly, but it was definitely a thrill and really exciting to shoot. It was just really cool. We felt super hot. It was fun. Nicole, she is probably the funniest girl I've ever met. <laughs> Nicole is the sassy firecracker, always on her game. Ah! And she's funny and sassy and she just speaks her mind and um, she's a blast, I love her. Me and Laura got to go into town and shoot one day by ourselves with the crew. We found this old whiskey distillery. It's an old building uh, with this wooden front and these old lettering on it. We got to walk towards the camera together. It was fun doing a shoot with another girl. Uh, sometimes it gets lonely in front of the camera. On the way home, we saw this Olympic sculpture outside uh, just right off the road and we decided to stop and shoot inside it and it turned out to be such a great shot. It was this huge metal circular structure and we stood right in the middle of it and got a beautiful scenery in the background with the white snow landscape. We ran into some cross-country skiers. <laughs> Being a bikini model, you have to watch what you eat. Um, and you have to work out. I usually run on the beach in Malibu. I run like three miles a day. And um, I always go hiking and working out with my girlfriends. Um, you have to make it fun because it is part of your job. So it's always good to you know, love your job and have fun at the same time. I'm sorry to say, but that's all the time we have here in Park City, Utah. Join us next time for another episode of Bikini Destinations. Yeah, that's so good. Very nice.